Okay, for those of you who did not already talk to me, my name is Sergeant Carly Hose. It's spelled C-A-R-L-Y, last name H-O-S-E. I am the Public Information Officer for the Washington County Sheriff's Office. I am going to give you a brief overview of the information we are releasing so far in reference to um, the incident that we had earlier. Today at approximately 2.30 p.m., the Washington County Sheriff's Office responded to Columbia Machine, Inc., which is located at 12912 Bickle Road, Smithsburg, Maryland, for reports of an active shooter. Units immediately responded and located four victims, three of which were deceased at the scene and one who was critically injured and transported. The suspect fled the scene prior to law enforcement's arrival. The description was quickly released to the additional responding units and the vehicle was encountered by a Maryland State Police trooper. And that encounter happened in the area of Mapleville Road and Mount Etna Road. Gunshots were exchanged between the suspect and the trooper. Both were injured and transported for medical treatment. Multiple federal agencies, including the FBI and ATF, have responded to, to assist in this investigation. There's no confirmed active threat to the community in reference to this incident, and more information will be released as the investigation continues. The what suspect, the um, did he work at this facility? Like, what's the relationship between the suspect and this facility? As you can imagine, this is an ongoing invest investigation. I know everybody has a lot of specific questions that we currently don't have the information to release at this time. Did the shooting happen inside the factory and or four victims employees at the factory? Um, in reference to employment and whatnot, I, I don't have that to confirm. That's something that we're going to go back and, and be able to get get that question answered for everybody. Um, and the exact location of where on the property it happened, I don't have that to report right now. Can you say anything about a, a possible motive of, or if there was any kind of warning ahead of time that this person was going to do something or anything like that, any calls? Um, in reference to the suspect, any possible motives, like I said, this is an ongoing investigation. This incident just happened at 2.30 this afternoon. Our investigators are working diligently to get those questions answered, but I do not have them for release currently. Do you have the suspect's name and is he from this area? Um, I do not have information to release to you all about the suspect currently. Do you have any age, name, uh, sex or anything of that nature? Um, I, I do not have uh, age, name, sex to release on the suspect. I can say the suspect was a male. What are the conditions of the trooper and the uh, suspect? Any questions in reference to the incident between the trooper and suspect out at Mapleville Road have to be directed to the Maryland State Police Public Information Officer. They are going to be handling the follow-up information in reference to that portion of this incident. We're hearing that uh, Hagerstown Hospital is on lockdown. Is that because the suspect is, is there right now? Any questions in reference to the hospital status will have to be directed to Meredith Medical Center. Can you say what was going on inside the business at that time at 2.30 in the afternoon? Would it have been busy with employees and, and business activity? Um, in reference to what business was being conducted at that time, who was there, those are pieces of the puzzle that our investigators are currently putting, putting together right now. Any idea of at least who fired first? Uh, any questions in reference to the incident involving the trooper will have to be directed to Maryland State Police. I have a question. You know, obviously there have been a lot of mass shootings um, that have been happening all across the country, and then we have one that happens, you know, in a small town like this one. You know, as somebody in law enforcement, what do you make of this? My job right now is to report to you in the community the facts of what we're handling right now, um, opinions and things like that I'm, I'm not going to go into because that is not my, my job. My job right now is to let the community know, let you guys know what happened and where we're at currently with the investigation and to continue to brief you as we go through because like I said, this is an ongoing investigation. Our um, detectives are working diligently to put the pieces of the puzzle together so we're able to to fill the community in on what happened. Any message to the, at least the community? I understand there was a shooting outside the strip mall yesterday. The idea of, you know, you have two back-to-back -back incidents like this. At least any a message you'd like to relate to that? Um, I can tell you the incidents are not related, okay? Um, and any active threat to our community in reference to this incident, there, there is none. Did you Correct. say what kind of gun or gun uh, no, that's not information that I have to release at this time. Like I said, this is an ongoing investigation. This is very early in the best investigation, so I've, I've given the information that we have to release. Um, we will put out more information at a, a later time as well. Can you provide information on the victims? You said three are dead. Do you know if they're male, female, approximate ages that you can provide us with? Um, I don't have that currently. Um, that's something we can try to work on for uh, follow-up. Okay. Is Maryland State Police here? 
Uh, Maryland State Police is not at this site, but they're at their uh, barrack. Okay. Like I said, we will um, follow up and release more information as we go through. I appreciate everyone's patience um, as we go through and we, we put the information together and get it out to you. So thank you.